How's it going, everyone? My name is Cynical, and welcome back to yet another Umeneko no Naku Koroni. We are still within episode 5, titled End of the Golden Witch. And if you want to get caught up, as always, the link in the description down below will bring you to the playlist. So, go check that out. But without further ado, let's go ahead and continue. From where we last left off. Here. Alright. Just a goal? Ah, uh, after dashing to her bedroom, Jessica answered the phone call that had been transferred to there. Ah, mos mos e? Oh, matase. Batora. Ah. Loku nen mo oto satanashi to wa dou yu tsumori da? Hisashi buri da na. Oh, so na no ka? Shiru ka yo son na no. Fuzeze. あ、じゃあ、今年の親族会議はちゃんと来るわけだろ。ああ。6年ぶりだな。So oh. we're finally within the year. Five businessmen in expensive suits were visiting to the parlor, giving Cross and Natsui a progress report on their business. Spread out on the table were the blueprints and designs for a building, as well as documents related to, uh, expenditures and the like. So packed that even a teacup would have gotten in the way. Officially, they were here to give Cross a progress report. But in actuality, uh, Cross had called them all the way over to Rokunjima, so that Natsui could hear from them directly. Ah, okay, I see. This was because Natsui needed to hear someone other than her husband explain what condition their business was in. In other words, even though another family conference without Genzo was approaching, their business had not yet earned them any money. After telling the guests to wait for a short while, Cross took Natsui out into the hall and once again summarized the situation. つまり、我々の想像をはるかに超えて、事業は素晴らしくうまくいっているとは彼らは言っているのだ。ここで私と知事との私的なコネクションが大きく効いてきた。もはや絶対に釣り落とすことはない。それどころか。Cross spoke passionately. Ah, this made it seem all the more suspicious to Natsui. But this time, at least, she had to admit that everything really did seem to be going well. Certainly, this business Cross boast, uh, boasted. Uh, boasted of had expanded in scope over the last year, and was promising an, an even greater payoff than had been anticipated initially. Whether it would prove to be a winner or not, investors had gathered around it, and they were rapidly gaining funds. This must be what they mean when they say money summons money. Money, 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 money! It was probably the greatest success of Crossus's life so far. Wow. <laughs> okay, not the birth of your own flesh and blood daughter there, but okay, yeah, that. All right. <laughs> uh, okay. Sure. Uh, no, it probably would be his greatest success yet. That point was where Natsui's misgivings lay. True, it was certain, uh, and as Cross had said, they wouldn't lose this catch now. However, the fish on the line had gotten too big. Well... Really then, use all the force that you can muster! 
No, rush that baby in. A pained look rose to Crossus's face. They certainly had hooked a fat fish that guaranteed great success. However, it would require an appropriate amount of time to reel it in. Natsui pressed Cross, asking if there was any way for them to make money before this year's family conference. But Cross kept saying that he needed just one more year. Cross planned to use this unprecedented success to catapult them into further challenges in the future. Because of this, he didn't want to do anything that would raise suspicions by making making it seem like they were rushing to get money. Certainly, fortune tends to turn against people who take it for granted, even in the slightest. Anxious beggars never prosper. On many occasions before now, Cross had gotten cold feet and sold off businesses that would surely have brought in a profit had he just waited patiently and had, in effect, given away his winning picks. Natsui also knew this. She knew that guts were the thing her husband lacked most. Ouch. That's why she was unable to refuse when Cross said he wanted to prudently wait just one more year. Just one more year, man! One more year, please! Please! One more! <laughs> One more year! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll stop. Are they, Kenzo? Are they? <sighs> How grand. Hmm. そなたの命などこの世を去れば、すぐに悪魔どもに食いつくされる運命よ。うう、that sounds fun。後ろ宮家当主はすでに私ではない。書斎の幽霊は well, ain't that high praise? Hmm. その結果、さらに勝利が厚くなり、ますますに人と魔力を集め黄金を生み出そうとしている。錬金術の王道を見事に体現しているぞ。黄金の魔女の太鼓判まで着くならこれは心強い。喜べ、ナツヒ。このクラウスの事業は必ずや後ろ宮家の危機を救うだろう。イエーイ。ありがとうございます。そしてそのためにまた。うん、もう一度。<
最悪のケースを想定するのは魔女ならずとも世渡りの基本だそれで今年はどうする去年同様会議当日はお父様の秘密を知る使用人を集中的に配置しますお父様の不在を蹴取る親族もすでにいるかもしれません不用意な演出はむしろ馬脚を表す危険性もありますうん次たるは及ばざるがごとしとも言うなればどうする今年は昨年とは逆に最後まで書斎をお出にならないという筋書きで行こうと思いますそれがよかろうな籠城は単純にして最後の切り札だどれほど屋敷が毒素に満ちようともこの部屋を密室結界に閉ざす限り金蔵の存在を否定することはできぬそれはわらわも保証するだが籠城すれば囲まれるは必至承知していますそれでも何とぞもう一度だけお父様とベアトリーチェの力をお貸しください私は新しき当主の命令には逆らえぬそして幽霊もまた聖者の命令には逆らえぬしなこの部屋から出るなというのであればそれに従おうありがとうございますわらわは嫌だぞ力を貸せと願われても願いごときでは聞いてやれぬええあなたは顧問錬金術師ですから貸せと願いません貸しなさいと命じますあほほう There we go あなたの魔法だけが頼りです。The coldness. その力でもう一度だけお父様の幻想を。ふ<笑>ん<笑>。ならばよし。心得たぞ。そなたの貫禄、なかなかに心地よし。I hate to break it to y'all, but I so do I. Damn. Confidence can go a long way. Oh? Meta world, hmm. Yep,、uh, I love seeing these two. Okay, how far are we in? Only 13 minutes, hmm. Gone by quick from the shadows of the study. Bachelor watched the exchange between these three. Naruhodona, so she, Kotoshino Shinzok Kai, you mukai do wakada. じいさまは不機嫌だからと書斎に閉じこもり誰の前にも姿を現さない The same familiar line、hmm. Yep、oh. Natsui spoke boldly about how she would somehow overcome this year's crisis and protect the Ushiromiya family's honor until the end While Kenzo praised her, saying that her plan looked promising. Hmm. Bito also praised her, saying that Natsui's dignified confidence was even more well suited for the headship than the crosses. However, right now, the true number of people in this room was. The moment I thought that. No. Just because I thought it, Bito grabbed at her chest and moaned. I put my hand on Bito's as she tried to hold back the pain deep inside her chest. I've already told the Bernkestel. The two day period of the 1986 family conference. 
is all I need to deny the illusion of the witch. お前は前回、前ゲームの開始以前のじいさまの生死については言及していない。ああ、いや。つまり、今この場にじいさまが存在していても何の矛盾もないってわけだ。うん。ああ、はあ。My uh... huh. hand touching her let off a faint blue light. Which seeped into her chest. That light tenderly wrapped itself around the splinters in Beto's chest. Huh. <laughs> あ。赤で宣言されていないんだ。だから。ここにベアトリーチェが存在しても何もおかしいことはない。ああ。Oh. Oh shit. Beto's expression softened light uh slightly. My blue light slowly began to melt the red splinters that denied the illusion of the witch. Damn. Bito still wore the same sad expression, but she lifted her face and looked me straight in the eye. Though she was silent, her eyes told me that her pain had subsided. The feelings that showed in her eyes were gratitude for taking the pain away and appreciation. Or was it surprise? For leaving even a tiny bit of leeway for witches to exist. Unable to look directly at those pure eyes of hers, I reflexively averted my gaze. <laughs> oh shit! Oh god damn! Oh, I love this. I. Mm hmm. <laughs> くしたつもりもねえ。俺はお前との hung her head. I was still facing away from her. However, we waited wordlessly for a while. My hand is still on hers. By now, no one would believe that this sad-eyed woman was the same person as that prideful Bito. So, I asked once more. Even though I said it out loud, it wasn't a question to her. I was asking myself. Omaiwa. いったい何を考えていたんだ。そうさ。俺はラムダデルタのゲームを通じてでもお前を探さなくちゃならない。お前が何を考え、何をしようとしていたのかもな。Very soon, this game will also reach October 4th, 1986. Fifth game will finally begin, and this time, I'll reach the end. The end of that journey. Hmm. It's like he's trying to get into her state of mind throughout all this. Trying to get to know her 
better. Hmm. But for what purpose does that hold for him? Hmm. That's right. I already know how I can reach the end of that journey. It's been made clear to me since the very beginning. Oh? Sorry, I know that was a little early. そして今度こそ Vito looked up at me again and gave a small nod. That's right. The position of Game Master might have been snatched up by them Delta. However, as long as I continue this contest with the intent of fighting against Vito, our fight will continue. No matter who controls the game board, very soon the curtain will rise on our game. Kotoshino Shinzuk Kaigi demo Oyakata Samano Himitsu Kaksaneba Naran. Hi, Kokoro at your limas. おなじてがもう一度通じる鍵門だな。奥様も同じご懸念を持たれている。そのため、今年は書斎から一切お出にならない方向で行くことになった。つまり、ずっと書斎にこむられていることにするというわけですか。うん。そして書斎に入ることが
まあまあ例えの話や武田信玄はその死を3年の間秘密にするよう遺言したっちゅう有名な孤児があるやろ Wait, what? What? Who? Wait, what? <laughs> 知らんかそんな話もあったかしら日本史はよくわかんないわ当時武田は織田や徳川との戦の真っ最中だった。Oh, okay. right. そこで信玄が死んだなんて話になったら戦況に悪影響が出るやろ、huh. そやから自分の死を3年隠すように遺言したんや。That's wild. But very interesting. 秀吉かてそうやで。主君織田信長の死を敵方に知られんように徹底的に情報規制を行い素早く毛利と和解して中国大返しを行い明智を打ったやないか一方の柴田勝家はそこで失敗したんや敵の上杉に信長の死を知られ思わぬ反撃を受けて足止めを食らいその後の秀吉との後継者争いで大きく遅れを取ることになったんや。秀吉、who had a strong fascination with the commanders of the Shingoku period, would always show off his knowledge when he got the chance. Wincing slightly, Eva made him get back to his point. はやい話が、わしは去年の親族会議から、ずっと違和感を取ったんやあれは私やルドルフが遺産の話をしてたのを廊下のお父様に聞かれてしまってそれでそこや夏日さんや使用人たちはどこそこにお父さんがいた不機嫌そうだったと口を揃えたがわしら親族は誰一人お父さんを見てないんやでもしあなたの想像が本当なら。どういうこと兄さんが遺産の独り占めを狙ってるということもちろん死んだことを隠すなんてかなり危険なことや果たして遺産を独り占めするためだけにそれだけのことをクラウスさんがやってのけるのかわしも確信は持てんだが可能性はある確かに。兄さんは昔から強欲よ兄弟全員でと受け取ったものを着服するなんてよくあることだったわクラウスさんはわしら兄弟の中では一番裕福なはずやそんなクラウスさんがお父さんの死を隠すなんて危険を冒してまで遺産の独り占めを目論むとはわしにはちょいと信じられんのだがなだがそう疑いたくなるくらい去年の親族会議はおかしかったんやで<笑> hmm. Even the others were painfully aware of how reckless it would be to try and see Kenzo when he was in a bad mood. So during last year's family conference, once they heard about Kenzo getting into a terrible mood, they never made an attempt to contact him. That was why, to this very day, they hadn't found it suspicious that Kenzo had never appeared. Tashkani, Utagate Miru Kachua Arune. Demo Hontoni, Nisa no Oto Sama no Shio Kaksuna, the Daisole Takoto Surkashira. Go man Nakseni, Okasina Tokoro de Shoshina Hitoyo. Sonna, Isay Tidai no Obakchi, Hontoni Surkashira. Is there any sale? 今年の会議ではきっちりお父さんのご尊顔を拝謁した方がええやろうな、huh. okay. 非常に良くない噂さどうやら兄貴の事業は俺たちの想像を超えて手ひどく失敗してるらしい相当の損失を抱えてて表向きを取り繕うだけで精一杯らしいつまりクラウスさんからお金を借りるのはとても難しいことというわけね
ああ泣けてくれクラウスさんにとって経済的に困窮していることはある種の弱みにはならないの弱み<笑>そりゃ投資家は超えてるから投資家なんだぜ実は金欠だなんてことになったら誰も見向きもしねえ信用第一の世界なのね<笑>ああキュリエイスマイルドゥンリーブルドフォーステイクンバックバイダスマイルイデフィギュードダッヒスプレーン Which involved raising money to get him out of his current mess by borrowing from the affluent Cross, would all come to nothing now that they knew Cross himself was in financial trouble. Kraus さんの信用は Kraus さんのこれからのお仕事に必要だろうけれど私たちのこれからには必要ないわ兄貴を許するってのか Rudolph felt a shiver go up his spine at Kyrie's cold smile. At times, Kyrie was able to throw away all compassion and think in an extremely ruthless manner. Whenever he saw that, Rudolph knew he'd never like to have her as an enemy. Rudolph stopped talking. Folded his arms and lowered his gaze. He still felt some of the terror he had experienced thanks to Cross's violence when they were young. And now, that same Cross was the one he needed to threaten. Rudolph would also be fighting against his childhood trauma. So, to give her husband a little push, Kyrie smiled reassuringly. And perhaps coldly. つくづく信用で仕事をしたくないものだわ。信用ほど積み上げるのに苦労して失う時が一瞬なんて割りの合わない投資はない。そうだな。世の中百の信用より一枚の診察だ。クラウスさんが大きな損失を出しているといっても。私たちのキューバをしのぐためのお金くらいは十分用意できるはずもちろんクラウスさんのこれまでの信用を換金してお金を作ってもらうことになるけれどこいつはやばい話になるなおはようや十分な備えが必要よ私たちには時間も失敗も許されてないそうだったわね私の京都の友人たちにそういうのを洗うのが上手な人たちがいるわあまり世話になりたくない連中なんだけど一度会ってもらってもいい領収書は切れないけどきっと投資に見合うだけのものを調べ上げてくれるわワンバイワンええ Oh, great, it's her turn. <laughs> Ugh, why do the worst one last? <laughs> great! Alright. Rosa was talking to Rudolph over the phone. Rosa rarely received calls from her older siblings, so she braced herself for something serious. Rudolph 
じゃ詳しくは話せないだがお前にとって聞く価値のある話のはずだそれはいい話もちろん姉貴は乗り気だぜ姉さんはローザには賛同してほしいだけだ金を出せとかそういう話じゃない俺たち3人が全員結束してることがまず大事なんだわかるなローザ let out a sigh She did so because in the past, when Rudolph and Eva got into a fight with Cross, they always used to talk to her like this right before dragging her into it. Don't go dragging me into anything! Uh, by the way, I just noticed something. She acts completely different. While in person in front of the other siblings. Have you all noticed that? Over the phone just now, she's talking all high and mighty. While in person, she's a little bit more timid, right? I'm not the only one that could imagine this, right? It's weird. Hmm. Huh? <laughs> Damn, 200 mil? Mmm. I could use that right now. <laughs> I think everyone could use that money right now. Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Umakikeba.Um
That was because she was going to go to that recently built amusement park. And, ah, that's what it's doing for. Okay. And really? Really? Dell's Neeland? Really? R r really? Really? All right. I see how it is. <laughs> oh, the following Sunday. Looking at the clock, Rosa saw that it was just past nine at night. Time for bed, you little shit! <laughs> Maria was breaking the lights out of rule. Oh, shit. She's gonna smack that little child, isn't she? After covering her face and agonizing for a while, Rosa stood up and stomped over to Maria's room. Oh, okay, here we go. Uncomfortable time. Oh, God. The room would probably be a mess as well. At least tonight, that was convenient. As she stood outside the door to Maria's room, listening to the happy laughter seeping through, Rosa's face twisted in anguish once again as she looked at the door. Then, when she raised her head again, her brow was furrowed, and her face had become an ugly expression of anger. Really? You're pissed off that your daughter is having a grand old time? Really? 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 Okay. Can I say, bitch? Okay, that thunder told me no. I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, the weather wasn't that great. Really now? According to the weekend forecast, a, uh, a certain tropical cyclone would likely grow into a large typhoon. If unhappy premonitions tend to be right, this year's family conference will probably take place in absolute horrible weather. No. I wish a typhoon large enough to stop all boat travel would seal Rock and Jima away forever. If that happened, I'd be able to hide Kinzo's death as long as I wanted. Not so he let out a deep sigh. Just doing that made her headache throb. As the day of the family conference approached, the intensity of her headache just kept on increasing. At that time, the phone rang. Natsui turned the TV off and picked up the receiver. Hi. It's the same phone! Okay. <laughs> they couldn't make a little bit effort to change... Uh, okay. Oh my god, Natsui, are you at Rosa's house? Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> uh, smack me. Oh. <laughs> Genji with that deep voice. Mm. Excuse me, what? Genji,でございます。何事ですか？奥様に外線からお電話でございます。Oh. Oh?名乗らないだ What the fuck? A young man. What the fuck? Who you been messing around with, Natsui? <laughs> chicka chicka bow wow. Anyway. <laughs> I am so sorry. Natsui didn't have a clue who that might be. In the first place, there was no one amongst her acquaintances who would do something as rude as refusing to state their name. And on top of that, a young man, a fresh young man. <laughs> I am so sorry. Okay. 
And I'm probed, dude. I, I'm sorry. What do you want from me? Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, I need therapy. As a wife, she must avoid any contact that might be considered suspicious with anyone other than her husband, much less a young man. As soon as she thought this, the phone call suddenly seemed like something dirty. Oh! But despite that, she also wanted to know what they wanted to tell her. Could it be some kind of trouble related to Cross's business? What if there was some particular reason they needed to talk to Cross's wife instead of Cross directly? How scandalous! Oh! Oh my god, my neighbors are waking up. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no matter what it is, it's my duty as a wife to listen and report to Cross. If it's some bizarre threat, I just have to firmly refuse and inform Cross that I received such a phone call. If it's something offensive, I just have to tell Genji to never send me anonymous calls again. That sounds ideal. Anyway, as Natsui thought this, as uh, just as Genji was suggesting that he hang up the phone on the man as though that's what she did naturally choose, she told, uh, she told, why am I saying chold? She told, T, told. <laughs> she, oh my gosh, she told him to connect her to this person. Whew. She then set the receiver down. Wait, you, why would you put the receiver down if you told them to, oh, uh, what? Oh, okay, that's why. Huh. I mean, with today's phones, you don't necessarily have to do that, but okay, yeah, sure. Anyway, after a short while, the phone rang again. Mushy, mushy. Okay. This wasn't the internal line. It was the external phone line, which Genji had redirected to her. So it should already have been connected directly with the mysterious man. However, the person on the other end didn't respond. Not liking this at all, Natsui spoke one more time, sounding displeased. Mushi mushi? Oh my god, it's a perverted old man! <laughs> I said old reflexively, knowing and remembering that it's a young man. <laughs> okay, anyway, that was a mishap. Okay. She heard something that sounded like a sigh. She gulped reflexively. After remaining silent for a little longer, the man finally answered, Oh, so you can speak words. Congrats. Wait, who? That was the first time the man had spoken. Who the bloody hell is this? <gasps> Natsui? Oh my god. How long ago did you have a fling with this man? <laughs> yeah, who the fuck are you? The voice certainly did sound like a young man's, but it's hard to learn much about someone just by their voice over the phone. It sounded like a young man, but it might actually be a middle school aged boy. That's a little going far. <laughs> but okay. Or a man in his prime. Oh yeah. Who still had a youngish voice. No. Wait. It might be too soon to be sure this is even a male. Excuse me? <laughs> However, no one was certain. I mean, sorry. What? <laughs> Words? What? Uh, okay. Let's try that again, shall we? 
However, one thing was certain. Natsui could think of no one who would speak to her in an overly familiar manner like this. Then do so? Uh, 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 we're not playing this game here. <laughs> exactly. Remember. Oh, did they have a boom boom? Huh? Did they do the mattress honcho? Did they do the all nighty mighty? Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. What? <laughs> I I I apologize. あなたなど知りませんし、思い出すような心当たりもありません。そんなこと言うなよ。お。俺はあんたの子供じゃないか。Oh? Ah! Excuse me. What the? What? Who? Uh, who the? I was kidding this whole time about who the. What kind of fling do you have? But wait, no, I am your. Ch wait, what? But were you pregnant before you met Cross? What the fuck? What is this shit? What the bloody hell? What a twist! Don't you mother me! What? <laughs> oh my god! Thunder. That unsent. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, my heart. Okay. That unsettling word thrust itself mercilessly into the depths of Natsui's heart and started churning it about. In her entire life, Natsui had never been told something so unsettling. In her bewilderment, Natsui felt her heart beat so loudly that it felt like it would explode. <sighs> Are you sure about that? Because you're stuttering, darling. Ah! Revenge! What a familial little trope, ah! Huh? Oh, fantastic! So cliche! Mwah! Magnificent! <laughs> Nineteen years ago, in fact. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> I can actually understand if you go ahead and I don't know, dislike the video or just plain out unsubscribe. I, 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 I understand completely. <laughs> Please don't do that. Natsui's mind went blank. And from beyond the wind howling outside the window, she most certainly heard the roar of the sea from that day. Again, your stuttering at the beginning there tells me otherwise. Oh. Oh, the juicy deets need to be coming out. Give me them. Give me those juicy deets. I'm saying deets as in details. Mind you, I'm not saying anything else. <laughs> Knowing YouTube, that won't matter. I'm still going to get a strike or something. All right. <laughs> get my ass handed to me. Okay, so you're 19 years old, and she threw you into the dumpster. I'm supposed. I'm, I'm. I'm guessing. Are you a dumpster baby? Is that why you're aiming for revenge? 
あんたを呪うためにあえてそれでもいやだからこそもうすぐ親族会議じゃないか How the fuck do you even know about the family conference? What the fuck is going on here? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? You ain't no son of my. Mm -mm. Oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> Breathing so hard, her shoulders heaved. Natsui slammed the receiver down and hung up. Then she hit the phone violently, knocking the receiver off so that no more calls could come through it. I can hear the roar of the sea, the voice I hear from beyond the howling wind is certainly... Okay. Even if I cover my ears, even if I cover my ears, if you make me repeat even... <laughs> don't do it. The headache won't. There we go, okay. That was a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Completely pale, Natsui kept shivering as though cold. Okay. Uh, what the hell? Another meta scene here. Wait, what? Ooh. Well, well, well. Can we stop this? Can so, Lambda Delta grinned unpleasantly, as though sizing Burncastle up. No, no, Lambda Delta, no, no. <laughs> she was probably trying to tease Burn for making that demand. どうしようかな。それを決めるのはゲームマスターの私の自由だし、その判断をいつするか最自由。青地宣言でない限り、あんたに答えるギムはないしね。そういうこと。今はせいぜい。夏日の<笑><笑> 19年前に一体どんな秘密が? <laughs> of course, this fishy telephone call happened before October 4th, 1986. This is still before the start of the game. So, there's basically no need to question whether it's true or false. Game Master no anta ga waza waza miseta ijo. Nani ka no fuseki da to omotto ku wa? だましかも知れないけれど、一応あんたのこの差し手は記憶に留めておく。このカードを伏せたままバニダスってやつね。マイカ、な、なに？あ、スパクター。Oh my god. Said it even in English. Fantastic. I love it. After suddenly being <laughs> conked on the head. Nice choice of word there. Lambda Delta was bewildered. But perhaps this incomprehensible exchange was funny to her because she quickly went back to giggling. <laughs> Ooh, finally! Nandome no 
Wait, what? Wouldn't this technically be the sixth? Because the last one was basically ended pretty short at the very beginning of this episode here. So even though this is episode five, we're, we're, we're witnessing number six, right? Technically? Are we? Wait. Are we? Or is that a trick? I don't know. Oh my god. No. No, why? Why did you do this to me? Now I'm questioning even that! Why? <laughs> Bastards! All of you! ベルンガは何か行動ある And let it begin. Eleven AM. Fantastic. All right. How long has this been? An hour and one minute. Not bad. Pretty short, but not bad. All right. The first day, October 4th, 1986. Boom, baby. Alrighty then. I would have to agree to disagree or not with you for now because that is the end of this video here. I like that sound. Oh, yes, I like it indeed. All right, so even though this is quite a short, um,. I hope you all enjoyed it. They were some weird ass moments due to uh, yours truly here. I apologize. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but it, I I thought it was good. I like this chapter. I mean, I liked all I liked them all so far. I mean, it can only get better as we progress, right? <laughs> right? It can only get better. Please say yes anyway um so yeah if you did enjoy it please leave a like share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because there will be more omenago and higurashi on the side as well soon so stick around for those two and until then until next time please as a reminder stay sinful folks <laughs>